Lesson 1, Unit 2. What are results? Why to focus on results? Why is it so important that development projects increase their focus on results? After all, the project has a specific plan to deliver the scope on time and on budget, and the project design logic provides a path to achieve the results expected by the beneficiaries of the project. If the project is well designed, why we still need to place an emphasis on results? We will answer these questions in this lesson, and they will help us understand the importance of results in development projects. To start our understanding of results, we first need to clarify how results are identified in development projects. From the following two sentences, which one do you think reflects a project result at the outcome level? Sentence A, construction of 10 community water points, or sentence B, 100 families use safe water. Very good. Sentence B reflects a project result at the outcome level, not the use of the word use, as compared to the word construction in sentence A. Sentence A shows an action, while sentence B shows a change. This distinction is important, as it tells us that something has changed. There is a change in the condition that can be attributed to the project. When we develop project plans and define the objectives, this distinction will help us determine the progress the project is making based on results approach. Note that the results are usually beyond the control of the project. Building a water system is something the project has full control, but it has no full control on the changes in behaviors of the beneficiaries. It can influence, encourage, educate and persuade, but it cannot force a change. This is a definition of results that we will use for the rest of our course. A result is a change that can be described and measured and is the consequence of a cause-effect relationship. The definition makes an emphasis that for a result to be valid, it needs to be properly described and measured, and that the result is the consequence of the cost-effect relationship of the activities designed to create the desired change. Without a way to measure a change, we will not know if the result has occurred as a consequence of the project interventions. A result is basically a change in a condition or situation. Measurable change means that we have the means to know that the change can be measured and will show us the progress made. The cause-effect relationship means that the change occurs from a series of actions that applied at the right time and in the right context produce the desired effect. These changes can be intended or unintended and negative or positive. Results are changes that occur as an effect of the project interventions. They imply the changes in behaviors by individual groups of people, organizations, government bodies, and society has taken place. They occur as a consequence of the project activities, the delivery of goods and services that help the beneficiaries achieve the desired results. For example, a change in behavior means that the beneficiaries are changing their old behaviors. This change takes time and it's not necessarily automatic once the project activities are completed. It requires time to change old habits that sometimes are influenced by local customs, culture, and social norms. Results arise from a cause-effect relationship. The relationship between inputs, activities, outputs, outcomes, and impact. This is the results change that the project design defined in order to address the problem or problems affecting the beneficiaries. Outputs are short-term results, outcomes are medium-term results, and impact is the long-term result. Another important reason for a focus on result is the need for an increase in mutual accountability of organizations and key actors in the development process. Mutual accountability means that all key actors, implementing organizations, financing organizations, local governments, beneficiaries, and other key stakeholders are all accountable for the results and not just limited to accountability for the use of inputs, the resources, and funding. There is also a need for an increase in transparency of the choices. 
decisions, and use of resources from organizations and key actors in the development process. Transparency ensures that information on progress is achieved and the results is available to all the stakeholders, including setbacks, changes, and modifications. Transparency is not only towards donors, but also towards partners and beneficiaries. The need to focus more on results is the need to avoid the mistake to focus excessively on activities. Many projects put an emphasis on monitoring and reporting on the progress on activities, such as training events, delivery of goods and services, and completion of tasks and budget targets, while giving little or no focus to see if the activities are actually contributing to achieve the expected results the beneficiaries need. An activity-based management approach will focus on the activities that are planned on a project calendar, while a results-based management will focus more to see if changes are occurring as a result of the activities.